What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brooklyn McLean, and I'm back once again. Class is in session. We're moving on. We're up to quote number six from my book of favorite quotes, A 30-Day Transformation to Becoming a Better You. Um, we're going to go through all 30. So we're going to do one a week. And um, if you would like to follow along, um, the book is available on Amazon.com or LifeStrategyMeetup.com. Um, yeah, you know, as always, feeling a little self-love. Got a different color working today. I'm kind of liking this black and gold combination. Constant reminder, baby, self-love. Um, if you are, is this, if this is new to you and you would like to catch up, um, there's five other videos. The links will be um in the description where you can catch up but guess what time waits for no one we moving on we on quote number six so as a quick review quick little recap number one only two reasons why someone doesn't make it either you quit or you die by lloyd mclean number two knowing is not enough we must apply willing is not enough we must do by Bruce Lee. Number three, the person who believes they can and the person who believes they can't are both right by Confucius. Number four, no matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you are not skilled, if you don't study, if you don't dedicate yourself to being better every single day by Will Smith. Number five, become the change you want to see in the world by Mahatma Gandhi. Number six is by Albert Einstein. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by how well it can climb a tree, it will spend the rest of its life believing it is stupid. Whew. Number six. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by how well it could climb a tree, it will spend the rest of its life believing it is stupid. By Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is one of the great minds of the 20th century. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your perspective, he created the formula for the atomic bomb, which goes to show how information is neutral. It's what you do with it that determines its use, be it positive or negative. This quote resonated deeply with me because it included every human being on this planet and it instantly gave everyone value. We are all creative geniuses. The problem is we all don't know it or don't embrace our genius. We live in a system, a society that likes to put labels on people and put them into a box to make it easier for the masses to accept. This doesn't work because we are all uniquely individual. The education system doesn't spotlight individuality, but it does aim to create mass production of people becoming the same thing that benefits the system. We are not taught to embrace our uniqueness, but to conform to society. It takes courage to be what you want to be, to be separate from the crowd. It is actually cowardice to conform and be what everyone wants you to be. Think about the quote and ask yourself, does it make sense for the fish to be judged on climbing a tree? Or should the fish be judged on how well it can swim in the ocean? Does it make sense for a child who is a genius musician to be judged on how it tests for math? Or should the child be tested in its passion, which is music? Think about the subjects you struggled in and then think about the subjects you were passionate about. I know personally I excelled in the ones that interested in me and didn't really care too much for the ones that didn't. Now, I'm not saying a child shouldn't have some fundamental understanding of the core subjects, but is it fair to judge a child's intellect on a standardized test that isn't catered to the child's passions? Everyone has a skill or an interest that, if money wasn't an issue, they would pursue. If that interest is harnessed, that person could excel at something that they love to do. What is your skill or passion that you've always wanted to do? Whatever it is, the world needs it. You have a gift that will bring joy to the world. Stop judging yourself based on expectations set up by society that doesn't encourage individuality. 
You are a genius creator and the world is waiting for your gift. I encourage you, even if it starts out as a hobby that grows into a career, stop being the fish that believes it's useless because it can't climb a tree. It starts with you, okay? We just got to do it. Um, that's number six about Albert Einstein. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by how well it can climb a tree, it will spend the rest of its life believing it is stupid. Um, let, let, let's reflect on that. Let's reflect on that. Um, when I first came across that quote, I was like, wow, like I was, I was floored because it, it's, it's common sense. Right? And, I, and I, I use that term loosely, common sense, because I sometimes I say common sense really should be called uncommon sense because not everybody has it. But <laughs> for, for the sake of conversation, it just felt like common sense. Right? It's like, why would you judge a fish on how well it could climb a tree? You put the fish in the ocean and go, okay. Let me see how fast it is. Let me see how it maneuvers through the water. Let me see its ability to sustain itself in its natural habitat. Right? A monkey climb a tree. Right? I wouldn't put the monkey in the ocean and go, okay, let me see how well you can swim. Huh? You're not as good as the fish. Throw you out. But that's what we do in this society. And it's mind-boggling that more people don't question it. Like we're actually medicating a lot of our children and a lot of our people because they don't fit in this box. Right? Depression. People are unhappy in their lives because they don't fit inside this box. We've been so conditioned to believe our lives are supposed to look a certain way based on a system of rules and labels that... We bought into it because it's been passed down generation to generation. And when our lives don't look like the picture that's been created, now we're unhappy. We're depressed. And now Big Pharmaceutical wants to medicate you, right? Because something's wrong with you because it's got to be because everybody, this is everybody's reality. And if you can't, you know, create that reality... I know that's how I felt, right? Coming up, listening, being told how important school is. And I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not. It, I'm not. I believe that every child should have some fundamental understanding of some basic core subjects, right? You got to know how to read. You got to know how to write. You got to know how to count, right? Um, critical thinking think is important communication um, knowledge of self self-love um, how to communicate with the opposite sex how to express yourself and your emotions and your feelings to me that's what school should be right I don't know about y'all but I took algebra geometry trigonometry calculus I don't use none of it Okay, chemistry, biology, I don't use any of it. Now, if you're trying to be a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant or a scientist, right, take it, yeah, you need higher education. But that's such a small percentage of the population. Most of us have natural gifts that we really love to do, right? This is what I love to do. I love to fact find, right? I love to go travel and learn new things and then bring them back and apply them to my life, see what works, see what doesn't, and then share it, right? I wanna, I wanna shrink that process for people. I wanna make other people's lives easier. That's what I love to do. Right? And I would do that for free. I've done it for free. I've also been paid for it. I've acted for free, and I've been paid for it. 
to play basketball for free, and I've been paid for it. Right? So I truly believe that you can do what you love to do and find a way to sustain yourself. Right? I just it's mind boggling. And I've gone I've gone to schools and talked to kids. Um you know, supposedly that have problems. And the counselor was like, you know, good luck with these kids because they're just all over the place and, you know, they, they got to take medication. So they had me worried going up in. I'm like, what the hell am I going to say to these kids? They're crazy, right? I go in there and we start talking and I asked the kids to tell me why they're so angry. How about every last 24? Five of them kids knew exactly why. Some of them was when my dad isn't around. Some of them was my mom, you know, at home, you know, relate. Like they, they understood why they were upset. And they didn't like taking the medication. It's like they just wanted to be heard. They wanted somebody to show interest in them and give them attention. It's like what does that have to do with fitting them inside of a box? Like some of them were like, I like to sing. A couple of them was like, I like to rap. It's like we, we make kids feel bad for wanting to do things that they love to do. Now you can't, you can't find, you can't have no career playing video games. You need to be a doctor. It's like, no, there's people that make a lot of money creating and playing video games. Most of the successful people in the world didn't graduate from college. Some of them didn't even graduate high school. Right? But look what our system does. Go to school, get a good education so you can get a job and work for somebody else. They don't tell you, go to school, get a good education so you can be an entrepreneur. They don't tell you that. You know, the, the white picket fence, the perfect marriage, the perfect, like, y'all, it's like, if that's what you want to do, great, by all means, go for it. But if that's not what you really want to do, like, don't feel bad because you don't conform. Because you have the courage to be different than everybody else, because we are. We're from the same human family, but each of us is uniquely different. We all have a different quality, a different skill set that if we were taught how to harness that, cultivate that, nurture that, right, the world needs it. We don't need a, like, and, you know, it sounds a little judgmental, and I mean, everybody's judgmental, everybody prejudges. Right? We all have our preferences, our opinions about stuff. But I hear people say all the time, oh, you know, this kid's got ADD. They got attention deficit. And I, I inevitably ask, well, can they focus on anything? Well, yeah, you know, my kid really likes to sing. Then they don't have ADD if they can focus on something. They just don't focus on what you want them to focus on or what society wants them to focus on. Why don't you put your energy in cultivating that talent? Well, I don't, you know, I don't know if they can, you know, I don't want to put all that time and energy into something that doesn't turn out to be anything. Oh, so you're trying to be safe. You came to this world to be safe. Okay. Good luck with that. You want to be stable. Good luck with that. In a world where the only constant is change, you want to be constant and stable and safe. Good luck. If you judge a fish by how well it can climb a tree... The fish will believe it's stupid for the rest of its life. This not going to be a long video. Like, if that doesn't resonate with you the moment you hear it, I don't know. If you judge a fish for how well it could climb a tree, 
the fish will believe it's stupid for the rest of its life. How many people do we know like that? I know a few. Not feeling worthy, not feeling like they belong, not feeling accepted, not feeling valued, not loving themselves because they've been judged or tested or, or critiqued based on a system that doesn't accentuate their creativity or their passion or their genius. So they're walking around feeling worthless. I know I did. I never wanted to go to college. But I went because my dad made me. He wanted me to. I get, I get it now. Nobody in the family had really finished college before. So, okay, in hindsight, I get it. But at that time, I, I, didn't, I just wanted to work. I wanted to be in business. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Like, I just wanted to start and do and create things. Like, I knew I couldn't learn that in college. But I'm not angry at anybody for, you know, what they believe to be true. Everybody's just doing the very best that they can. Nobody's intentionally trying to mess anything up. If you judge a fish by how well it can climb a tree, the fish will believe it's stupid for the rest of its life. How many people are walking around feeling stupid? Because they didn't measure up to society's standard of how we're supposed to be doing it. It's got to make you wonder. It's not a whole lot that needs to be said about this. It should just really make you think. Assess. Maybe reevaluate some things. Are you going after what you love or are you allowing yourself to be judged on something that you're not very good at? Hey, I'm, I'm going to stop right there. My name is Brooklyn McLean. I'm reading from my first attempt at a book. My book of favorite quotes, A 30-Day Transformation to Becoming a Better You. Amazon, lifestrategymeetup.com. Hey, let's, uh, let's keep this thing going. I'm available on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Brooklyn McLean. And um, let's keep growing, man. Let's keep growing. I love the interaction, the feedback, so please share with me your comments, concerns. You know, if you think I'm, I'm full of shit, don't hesitate to say so. <laughs> um, I hope that everybody has a great week, and uh, I will see you next time for quote number seven. Love yourselves, baby. Uh, I'm kind of liking the black and gold get down. Self-love, Brooklyn McLean. Peace.